YouTube, welcome, welcome back to a new tutorial. And today I want to show you guys how to make this uh, really awesome UI by Soaring Key right here. It's like a nightclub uh, UI. So I love the style, the theme with the halftone patterns right here. I think it looks uh, really cool. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, you want to make a new layer. I'm gonna grab my pencil, um, this tool right here. And I'm gonna go up to fill. I'm gonna make sure this is on. And I'm gonna turn off stroke, as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna use my pen tool to make the frame right here. And just like that. All right, so we have this shape. And now, next we're going to change the color. Um, I'm gonna go for a darker shade of this one, actually. So I'm gonna go for something like this right here. All right, next we're going to copy this. So hit Control J, and take the bottom uh, layer, and we're going to move it like this. And we're gonna change this color to this purple. As you can see, I'm going to copy it again. I'm gonna hold Alt and drag this to the bottom and let go. This will make a copy for me. And I'm going to make this one black, like so. So we got some variation like this. I like how this looks. I'll make this a bit lighter. Next, let's make the button. So make a new layer. We're gonna take our pencil. And right here, you just wanna go click. Call this uh, shape. Like so move this to the side. And we're just going to double click. Select screen color. Copy it below. And right here, just take a darker shade like this right here all right now for the pattern here you just want to look up half tone pattern here is one that i found hopefully this should be able to work so we're going to take this and scale down we go right click and uh, rotate i'm going to right click and rasterize layer i'm going to hold control click on the icon make sure my color is white i'm going to hit alt and backspace twice to fill it with white uh, control D to deselect and then I'm going to make sure it's above this layer. I'm gonna right click and hit create clip mask right here. It's going to clip this layer uh, in. As you can see we're just going to copy this across. We can take all these, hit control E to merge and use our eraser tool. And we can just and now we're just going to fade this out like so all right now i'm just going to copy and add this uh, same effect to the button right here the green one so there we go and also the button has this little inner shadow which we can add so right click and go into blending options right here and let's go for inner shadow let's bring the choke all the way up as you can see let's go for overlay mode and there we go, we have a nice little shadow. Let's go to our text tool, and I'm gonna type out daily reward, like so. This text is gonna go right here. Let's go ahead and make a new layer. Let's go for a pen tool, and the shape. Place this over here. We're gonna change the color to a nice dark gray, like that. Take the text and go for today. Um, for this, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go for a darker color. Use it like this right here. Just going to move it as you can see. So today. And we have day two, day three, and so forth. So for the next ones, we're just gonna, we're gonna group and then copy it across. All right, so I'm just going to copy this across and this will be day two, like so. Except for this, I'm gonna change the color. This one, I'm just gonna change the color. Two, 
just going to fade this out as well, lower the opacity. And for this uh, green button right here, we're just going to copy it and I'm going to right click and hit convert to smart object because we're going to go into the blending options. We're going to go ahead and add a stroke, a dark one, as you can see, and then a drop shadow. This time, change the color to white. Now we have a nice button that looks like this, All right? Okay, so you could right click, copy layer style, take this effect. I'm going to adjust the color a little bit, actually. All right, so we're going to take all this, group it up, copy it, right click, convert to smart object, and right click, paste layer style. So now you can see we have this frame. Now as for the text, um, his is a cartoony font, so I guess I'm going to change it as well. What kind of font can we go for? Alright, so if you want, you can also add a stroke to the text right here, like that. This one you can barely see it, but it's fine. Just go right click. Copy layer style and paste it onto the D2 right here. And for these, and if you hit Control E, you can flatten this uh, layer. And you can take your eraser tool and just brush this away. So we got this uh, faded kind of look. So, right there. And then I'm just gonna copy this across. a little white outline on these things which you could add if you want it will look something like this right here give me a second look like this i think it looks pretty cool yeah you can go ahead and add that if you wish i'm gonna add the text effect to right here all right so let's copy the text and let's place this let's put claim and now for the x button let's use our ellipse tool make a new layer go for a nice circle right here change the color to red you can go for a pink like his if you want kind of like this right here i'm just gonna right click blending options On the inside you're gonna go for a shadow choke all the way up overlay mode like so let's go for a stroke the stroke is going to be dark and then a drop shadow for the white, like this right here. Now you can just copy the text, appear, and place an X. Alright, so I'm going to add this little lock icon as well. And there you guys have it. Let me delete this. That is pretty much it. That's how you can make this nice little nightclub style UI. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. If you guys want more, tutorials, UI, GFX, logos, leave a comment down below and we will continue to make more. So yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.